Arado 234 Blitz or Lightning was the world's first operational jet bomber. In its few uses as a bomber, it proved to be nearly impossible to intercept. It was the last Luftwaffe aircraft to fly over the UK during the war in April 1945. In late 1940, the German Air Ministry offered a tender for a jet-powered high-speed reconnaissance aircraft with a range of 2,150 km. Arado was the only company to respond with its conventional-looking design with a Junkers Jumo 004 engine under each wing. Arado estimated a maximum speed of 780 km per hour at 6000 meters and a range of 2000 kilometers. The range was short for the ministry request, but they lacked the design and ordered two prototypes. These were largely complete before the end of 1941, but the Junkers Jumo 004 engines were not ready and would not be ready until February 1943. Arado 234 made its first flight in July 1943. To reduce the weight of the aircraft and maximize the internal fuel, Alado did not use the typical retractable landing gear. Instead, the aircraft was to take off from a jetsonable three-wheeled tricycle gear style trolley and land on three retractable skids. The ministry had already screened the promise of the design and in July had asked Arado to supply two prototypes of a Schnell bomber, so fast bomber version of the aircraft. Since the original skid equipped Arado 234 fuselage design was very slender and filled with fuel tanks, the bomb load had to be carried on external racks. Since the cockpit was directly in front of the fuselage, the pilot had no direct view to the rear, so the defensive guns were aimed through a periscope mounted on the cockpit's roof. The external bomb load made the skid landing system impractical, so the bomber version was modified to have fully retractable tricycle landing gear. The new prototype flew in March 1944. With maximum bomb load, the aircraft could reach 672 km per hour. This was still better than any bomber the Luftwaffe had at the time and made the only bomber with any hope of surviving the massive Allied air forces. The normal bomb load consisted of two 500 kg bombs suspended from the engines or one large 1000 kg bomb in the underside of the fuselage. Production of the aircraft started in October 1944. Meanwhile, several of the prototypes were sent forward in the reconnaissance role. In most cases, it appears they were never even detected, cruising at about 740 km per hour at over 9000 meters, achieving the first ever wartime reconnaissance mission over the United Kingdom by a Luftwaffe-used jet aircraft. The few Arado 234 bombers entered service in autumn 1944 and impressed their pilots. The most notable use of the Arado 234 in the bomber role was the attempt to destroy the Lundendorf bridge at Remagen. Between 7th of March, when it was captured by the Allies, and 17th of March, when it was finally collapsed, the bridge was continually attacked by Arado 234s of the 3rd group of the 76th Bomber Wing, carrying 1000 kg bombs. The aircraft continued to fight in a scattered fashion until Germany surrendered in May 1945 but most of them simply sat on the airfields awaiting fuel that never arrived. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.